Maisie here from Success Fitness. Thank you for joining my class today. It is Friday, right? What do we do on Fridays? We do full body conditioning. We're going to need some dumbbells um, or alternatives, so a couple water bottles filled with water, sand, rocks, whatever you can find. Perhaps you have other things around the house that you found so now at this point to add some resistance. Okay, so just a couple of those and we'll be ready to rock. Are you ready to rock? I'm ready to rock. I'm Sonia Bidizzi from Success Fitness. Let's get the show on the road. We're going to start at one end of the mat and we're going to work the brain a little bit on this one. We're going to move over to the side. One, two, three. Open the hip. Okay? One, two, three. Open the hip. We're going to keep alternating that. One, two, three. Open. One, two, three. Open. Start moving a little bit quicker. One, two, three. Yes? Okay. We're going to pick up that pace a little bit. Right? So if you're low impact, versus higher impact, meaning if you have any sensitivities to your knees, lower back, ankles, whatever it may be, then definitely stay with the lower impact version. So I will always give you a slower start and then we start picking up the intensity as we go. Okay, so definitely find your intensity and I always try to find space or movements that we can do within our mat. Right, so if you live in a smaller space or you have an area that's very small that you can work around. Um, that's kind of what I keep in mind when we're doing these classes as well. But having that said, once you have the live class recorded, you can take it outside, right? And do it another time. 15 more seconds. Now I'm press it out. There you go. Open that hip. Good work. Woo! Nice deep breathing. Come on, get all that oxygen in. Wake up those muscles. One more. Let's hold it right here. We're going to do one leg only. We're going to kick it up, tap your toe. Ready? Kick it up, tap your toe. Stay on that one leg and lift. Now, be careful of your lower back. When we're lifting, we don't want to be rounding your spine into it. If you can't touch the toes, just come up and touch the knee. Right? And because we're just warming up and your body feels a little stiff for whatever reason, then maybe take it to the lower version on um, at the beginning, and then picking it up a little bit. Four, three, two, let's switch the other leg, and go, up we go. Yes? How are we feeling today? I'm feeling fantastic. It's Friday. These days it feels like it's just another day, but that's okay, right? And press. Good. We gotta make anything positive out of the day, doesn't matter. Right, so these exercises help to stimulate that system. Keep going for three, two, and time. Good, shake it out. We're gonna come down into a plank position. We're gonna do an ultimate Spider-Man lunge. So an alternating Spider-Man lunge. We're gonna hold it right here, step your foot to the outside of your front hand. Then take it back, switch to the other side. Yes, and back. If you can't reach that far, just go from here to here, and back. Keep going, here to here, and back. So give that hip a little stretch, and step it back. Right, so depending on your flexibility. So how can we alter this and modify this for a lower impact, um, or a lower level, is that we can maybe have a chair, elevating our body a little bit more, um, that we can get the stretch in that way as well. And again, pressing into it, and back. Pressing into it, and back. Good, get that stretch in those hip flexors, and back. And again, hip flexors, and back. Hip flexors, give me one more. And back, good. Walking it back into the upright position. Holding it right here. Let's get your heels going right to the butt. Get your hands on your butt and see if you can touch your hands with your heels. Come on. Power. Let's pick it up. Pick it up. Let's go. Come on. I want to see a little bit more speed here. Get that energy up and pull. 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 Yes? Good job. Do you like my t-shirt today? It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's funny. I love my t-shirts. 
I ordered this some more just not too long ago, but who knows when they get here. Everything seems to take a long time these days. And press, press, good job. Keep going. Come on, heels to bum. Go, 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 go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Good, shake it out. We're gonna step one leg forward into a lunge position. Back leg is bending. We're gonna stay stationary. Hands go behind your ears. We're gonna rotate to the front outside leg. One, and center. Two, and center. Three, that back leg stays bent. Four, five, good job. And again, six, looking good. Seven, eight, good job. Nine, one more. 10, and release. Let's switch to the other side. Leg comes down, back leg is bending, hands behind your ears, turning to the outside of your front leg. Ready? One, and center. Two, and center. Three, and center again. Four, exhale into it, bend your back leg. Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, and 10, and release, shake it up. We're gonna keep our legs nice and wide here, and we're gonna do an inch form from here. No push-ups. So about the width of your mat, hinge forward. We're gonna walk four steps forward, ready? One, two, three, four, come back. One, two, three, stand on four. Come back down. One, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, stand on four. Keep going, stretching the back of the legs. One, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, and four, yes? Let's go down. One, two, three, four, and back for four. And lift, good. And again, down. One, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, four. Let's do one more. Down we go. One, two, three, drop to the plank. And one, two, three, four. And up we go, roll the shoulders out. Nice big circles, hands from behind, open up the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades, it's not about yanking those arms way up there, pulling it open, and shake it up. We're gonna start with your first segment of exercises, one-legged deadlift with a hop. So you can use a wall, use a chair to hang on to, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna dip it down. Your back foot's toe should be pointing down. We're gonna come up and hop, okay? We're gonna go down, hop, and hop. We're gonna do one minute per side, so we should feel nice and burn on that standing leg. Ready? In five, four, three, two, let's go. Down, hop, down, hop. Now, if this is too hard, then don't hop, just lift the knee, okay? Now, notice how I just hinge from my hip, my back stays nice and flat. Okay, so there's no rounding. You should not feel as if your lower back. I keep always my knees just so slightly softened so that I'm not locking it right out. Good, down and hop. Down and hop. Down and hop. 30 seconds, come on. So hanging onto the wall or chair just so lightly, right? So you're not using the wall or chair to push yourself up on. You're using it just to help you a little bit with balance. So just my fingertips touching right now. Okay, 10 more seconds. Yes, come on. Five, four, three, two, and switch. All right, outside leg is my working leg. That's why I'm turning around. Opposite hand on the wall. Shoulders down and back. Right, this leg goes behind. In four, three, two, and go, down and hop. So if you've been doing my classes this last week, you might feel a little stiff in certain areas. So this one can kind of help in the same time, right? So we're working, but we're stretching as well. Come on, down and press. Only your fingertips are touching. Now, if you're more advanced than this, you could use a dumbbell, 
You can also not hang on at all, right? So that's completely up to you. Try it at all different levels and see what's the best level for you and how you're most challenged. Pointing your back foot down to the floor so we're not opening that hip, right? And push 15 seconds. Come on, are we warmer? Should be warmer. I feel warmer. Come on. Last four. Three, two, and time. We're gonna lay down on your right side. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight. You need a little bit more cushioning under the elbow. You can bend it in. We're gonna do a hip lift with a leg lift. On four, three, two, ready. Hip, lift, and down. Hip, lift, and down. Yes? Hip, lift, and down. And again, up. So, if this is too hard, you can also bend both knees and just lifting it from here, right? If this is too easy, straighten both legs and go from there. So, sometimes I find the in between of the two is that works. My oblique, I have more control over it, right? And I can also lift that leg, but that doesn't mean you can't pick this up. One extra level, 15 seconds. Come on, press it up. Lift and release. And again, lift and release. And again, and release. Let's switch it to the other side. How did that feel? Felt great, right? Everything feels great, right? We feel grateful for our body to be able to do this. That feels great. Four, three, two, ready? Hip lift, leg lift, and down. Hip lift, leg lift, and down. And again, hip, leg, and down. Hip, leg, and down, yes? Hip, leg, and down. Ooh, I feel my hips from yesterday's workout, I think. And again, lift, and back down. And don't forget, these next two days, you have some nice core stretching tomorrow, which will um, kind of complement some of these workouts we did all week. And on Sunday, we got a boot camp, cardio kickboxing style, yes? So much fun. 10 more seconds. And lift. Whew, come on, feel the burn. Four, three, two, and release. Okay, we're gonna do a jump squat forward, burpee, landing on your belly, and then hopping it up, turning yourself around the other way. Not sure what that means? I'll show you. In four, three, two, jump squat. Feet go back. Burpee, land on your belly. All the way up. Rotate. Yes, jump squat. Burpee, on your belly. Coming back up. Rotate. Yeah? Jump squat. Burpee. Back up. Power. Yeah. Jump squat. Woo. Burpee. Down to the belly. Coming back up. Power. Ooh, and rotate. Yes? Low impact. Coming back up. And turn. Right? 15 seconds. Coming back up. Yes. Come on. Last one. And again. Woo. Now, how exhausting is that? It's great, isn't it? Okay, let's grab some water. We're going to go into our second round. One legged deadlifts. All right, back to the starting leg. In 10 seconds, get ready. One legged with the hop. And four, three, two, let's go. And hop. Good. Hop. Right, so a little bit of explosion behind that hop or not. Right? So depending on your level. Now, another way to make this a little bit more challenging. 
challenging, is if you have a smaller stool um, and you can put your hands to the front and then popping it up. So you're not hanging onto the wall or chair. You're just going with both hands down, tapping it and then up. Tapping it and back up. Yes? Right, so I'm going all the way down to the floor on this one. But you don't have to, right? So be careful of your body's capability. Right? So we can go all the way down. So now my back stays nice and flat. Five, four, three, two. I got like some drunken deadlifts there. Okay. Other leg. In five, four, three, two. You ready? And go. Woo. Power it up. Come on. We got this. And push. And lift. Every time we hop, we should feel that in the hips. Right, both hands down. I'm going to start working a little harder to so a second set. Good. And again. And again. No impact. You're right here. Right, so again, with these classes, I've created them so that there's two sets of things so that I can get a little bit more exercises in so we also don't get bored, right? So lots of variety. 10 more seconds, but if you like to, seconds, but if you like to, put me on pause, do a third set, and then continue. And time, shake it out. Side plank, hip dip, leg lift. In five, four, three, two, and go. Lift, woo, lift, yes. And again, ah, uh, you know, I gotta say, the last couple days, it's my hips that are tired. Those glutes, I tell ya, buttons of steel. Now the month of this, I don't know. And push. Ah, we all have like these perfect six packs if we do this every single day, right? Oh wait, it's a great thing. I'm okay with that. And again. And lift. Good. We've got 20 more seconds. Good job. Keep going. Whoo, come on. You can finish it hard here. Let's keep going. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Let's release it over to the other side. Same one. Opposite side, bend your bottom leg, top leg straight. Arms straight up to the ceiling. On your marks, get ready. And go. And lift. Drop. And again, on that drop, we're literally just tapping it down, lifting it right back up. Right? Now the oblique is nice and snug. You're not sure where your oblique is. Touch the bottom end of that core here, and you're going to feel them contracting. That's your core. So a lot of people, when they go, I don't have abs. I'm like, oh, yes, you do. Right? If you wouldn't have abs, you wouldn't be able to sit and stand, lying down and stand. Right? So if you have difficulties with lying down and then coming to a standing position, your core is a big part of this. So make sure that you also really focus on training that core over a lifetime. This is not something that we just do for a short period of time and then thinking that the core is strong, right? So it's something that we maintain. So exercise, nutrition. How do we make it a lifestyle? And push. Good, one more. And release, good work. We're gonna come back up, jump squats, burpee, rotation, and then do it again, okay? All right, soft nose knees in four, three, two, let's go. Burpee. Off we go. Turn. Yeah? Jump squat. Burpee. Down we go. Power it up. Rotate. Woo! And again. And push. And back up. Turn. Whoop. Ahead again. Jump squats. Pushing it back. Laying right down. Power it up. Rotate. Yes, 10 more seconds. Whoop. And again. 
Let's grab some water. <sighs> Keep your feet moving. Don't just abruptly stop here. Let that heart rate simmer down just a little bit. All right, shake it out. So, with any exercises, could you be at resistance? Sure, but certain exercises are just more cardio based. So, for your next three segments, we can have a jump, something heavy, or just a set of um, dumbbells or a water bottle, right? Or nothing. So, that's totally fine again, too. We're gonna go back down into your side plank. All right, we are going to keep your bottom leg still bent. Hand goes behind your ear this time, lifting it up into a side plank position. We're going to go down to the hand and opening it up. Okay? In four, three, two, ready? And go. Drop and extend. Drop and extend. So when we do these side tight planks, what we're working here is not only your core, but also your shoulder and a little bit of that balance, keeping your hips Lift it, and then by rotating, now we're going to get not only the oblique in there, but your transverse that wraps all the way around, and your rectus, where your six pack is, four pack, and maybe nine pack, <laughs> depending on your genetics. Good, keep going, come on. Inhale, exhale out. You've got 20 more seconds. Good work. Oh, keep those hips lifted. Come on, don't let them go. Do as much as you can. Take a breather in between and then come right back to it. Five, four, three, two. Release over to the other side. If you have a towel to put underneath your elbow, that can work as well. Lifting the hips. Ready, set, and go. Down and lift. Down and lift. And you might find that one side is a lot stronger. Then the other, and again, that's very normal. Um, we'll, never need, we'll never be 100% even on your right and left, right? Because we all have a dominant side with walking, running, um, throwing, right? So you know if you're right or left dominant. Um, sometimes you can be both, but um, the thing is you're still gonna have one more dominant side. And press, good, keep those hips up. Don't sag it down. Let's go. You've got 20 more seconds. Good. And push. Good work. Breathing it up. And lift. 10 more seconds. And push it up. Come on. And time. Oh, dear. Okay. We're going to stay on the ground. We're going to do a set of push-ups with a superman. So we're going to be right here. You're going to do push-up, come all the way down, superman, slide it back in, push-up, all the way down, superman. Ready, set, and go. Push-up, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Superman. <laughs> push-up. See, it's Friday. <laughs> and some things don't change. And at least I'm consistent. By Friday, my brain and my body are doing two separate things all the time. Good. Superman, right? And if the Superman is too hard on your lower back, then only do your arms, right, without your legs. And again, push up. Good. And Superman. Awesome. Push up. And Superman. 20 more seconds. We got this. Push up. And Superman. Good work. And again. 10 more seconds. Keep this going. Good. Four, three, two, and time. Let's come on up. Don't rush it. Grab a dumbbell. Grab um, your jug, whatever you have handy. So if it's one dumbbell, you don't even need that. You can do this without weights at all. We're going to do a squat, reverse lunge, alternating in four, three, two. Let's go. Squat, 
reverse lunge. Other leg, squat, reverse lunge. And again, squat, reverse lunge. Yes, if you happen to have a set of weights, this is where you could go quite heavy, right? And you can use that resistance. But the truth is, when we do these kind of exercises, where your legs don't really get a break, sometimes no weight is plenty. And squat. Good, reverse lunge. Good, and again, squat. We got this, reverse lunge. Squat, reverse lunge. Whew. Squat, 15 seconds, right? So I just have my water bottle, it is burning. Yes, then through the back leg. Four, three, two, and time. Shake it out, grab some water. We're gonna go into our second round. Back down to the floor. Side plank position. In four, three, two, and go. Elbow to hand. Let's go. Second round. Come on, you know what to do this time. That's why we have a pause button. We love pause buttons. So that you can do more, not rest. That's all we're talking about. Because you know me, I don't know the word rest. I don't know the definition of that. Every more seconds. Ooh. Let's go. All right, with all this, how is your nutrition? How are we doing, right? Let me know how you're doing. Do you need any help with anything? I'm a registered holistic nutritionist. I have a four-year diploma, not just a weekend course. I've been doing this for 25 years. I've seen what works, what doesn't work. One more, and release, switching it over to the side. Right? So if you have specific needs, allergies, um, sensitivities, hands behind, lifting it up, I can help you. Ready? And go. Down and lift. Down and lift. You got this. Down and lift. Excellent work. And please share these videos with your friends and family. Right? Let's get everybody pumped up. Good. And push. Good. Exhale out. Squeeze it. And push. Leave those hips up there. Awesome work. We got 30 more seconds. It's nothing. Pull that belly button in, right? So when we do core work, it's really important to pull that belly button in so our core stays tight the whole time. And pull, bracing those abdominals. 15 seconds. Keep pushing through it. 10 seconds. We still got this. Five, four, three, two, and release. Good job. Push ups into your Superman. Woo. All right. In five, four, three, two. Ready? Push up. Superman, push up and down. Superman, and again. Superman, woo! Push up, Superman. If you want to do the push up on your toes, come on. Can you? Do it. Let's do it. Good work. 30 more seconds. Right? Yes, we can do this. Because I know I heard you there. You said, well, you're not doing it. Right? But now I am. Are you doing it? You're doing it on your toes, right? Come on, challenge yourself. Even if you just do one or two. Right? And then drop it back down to the knees. Good work. Keep going. Last one. And done. Good. Squat reverse lunge. Holding a weight in front of you, water bottle, whatever you've got handy. In four, three, two, ready? Here we go. Squat, reverse lunge. When we're doing that reverse lunge, squat, bend up back leg. 
right? Squat, reverse lunge. Make sure your chest stays lifted, looking in front of you, right? What we don't want is doing a squat that looks like this. But if you are super tight, there is ways that we can implement. And you would need like a belt, um, hanging around the railing, and then help you out that way. You can also elevate your toes um, on like a book with each, um, each foot so that you're reminding your body to stay a little bit more in your heels. But that's not gonna fix your forward fold in a squat, so we have to work on that a little bit more. Um, so you're tight, right? So we gotta figure out where you're tight and then how do we fix it? And again, down we up and take it back. Good work, squatting it down and taking it back. 10 more seconds, down we go. Lunging it back and again, squat. Awesome work, lunging it back. Woo, and shake it out. Good work. Let's grab some water. We're gonna go into your last little segment. We're gonna do the Again, we're gonna need some water bottles, soup cans, or dumbbells if you have them, right? We're gonna go into a bridge, then into a skull crusher. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna lift those arms just above your shoulders. We don't wanna have them angled across your face, okay? So about the width of your head, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna bridge it up, dropping the dumbbells down to the ears, and then back down, okay? So we're gonna alternate between the two. Ready, set, let's go. Bridge, take it down and up, and back. And again, bridge, take it down and back, and back. Now when you look at your elbows, your elbow should be right above your shoulders. And when we're doing this dip down with the dumbbells, your elbow should still be staying in that same alignment. Don't let the elbows pop out to the sides. Okay, so this should be nice and stable. If you happen to have lighter weights and you kind of go, hmm, could probably do a little bit more, you can also angle them just slightly, but you gotta maintain that angle. Notice how they're a little bit more forward now, right? You gotta maintain that the whole time. So that's not gonna move on you. So we're gonna make it a little bit harder that way. Right, does that work for you? And lift, 10 more seconds. Good, and back down. Press into the heels. And back up, one more time. And release, good job. Side plank, not down there yet. All right, we're gonna take it with your dumbbell into a side plank position. And if you get tired here, you can also just drop your hips down. We're gonna, again, if you need more cushioning on the elbow, and you can do this without the dumbbell, but even just a water bottle will work here. Hold it here, we're gonna come up above the shoulder and back down, ready? Let's do it. Up we go, and back down. Now when I come up, I don't go past my shoulder joint, okay? So don't go behind your back. We're gonna stay right above and back down. Right above and back down. Your core is now still working. If it gets too tiring, drop the hips slightly, but still try to keep your hip, your oblique engaged. And what I mean with that is you don't wanna just sag into this position, okay? Arm is nice and straight. Good. How's that? Stay right aligned with that shoulder. Don't come too far forward or diagonally towards your hip. 20 more seconds. Keep that hip up there. Oh, come on. I only have five pounds here. So a water ball will work quite well. I think I might have to change to that. <laughs> five, four, three, two, and switch Woo, to the other side. Awesome job. Okay, other side, lifting the hip. Are you getting warm? I'm warm. Lifting it up, ready, set and go. And of course, this arm that's now working at the top already worked hard by just simply staying in position to help you to stay here, right? So the bottom arm is working just as hard, but we're working the core, we're working the shoulder, right? Um, we're working the hip, the glutes are working, right? So there's lots of stuff 
happening here. So for lower back type issues or hip replacements, the side plank actually works really, really well. 30 seconds, come on. Exhale, power it up. Oh, how's that bottom shoulder? My mind's getting tired. Whoo, come on. This is where it's mind over matter, right? We can do this. Mm. Come on, 10 seconds. So close. Five, four, three, two. Ah, in time. Okay, careful when we're coming up. Nice and slow. Grab your two water bottles or your dumbbells. We're going to do an alternating front lunge with a bicep curl. Shoulders down and back. Ready and go. Lunge and curl. Press it back. Lunge and curl. Pressing it back. Again, when we're doing the lunges, your back knee's bending. And I'm pressing off my front leg's heel to take the pressure away from my knees. Okay? And push. Now I'm going to send you a picture of you working out, of me in the background. Right? Now that makes me happy when I see those things. And I see you sweating. So post it on our Facebook pages. Let me see what you got. Let me see your equipment, what you've created. Right? Let me see the space that you've created for this. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, let's have some water. Last round. We're going to go right back into your triceps. Bridging it. Whew. Lying on your back. We got this, right? Arms straight up, a little bit more angled if you want to work a little bit harder. In four, three, two. Bridge. Bend your arms. Down we go. Bridge. Hands beside your ears. Now, if your elbow bothers you with this on the bend, don't bend so far. So don't go right to the ears. You might have to stop at sort of a 90 degree and then pressing it back. So again, really work with your body. Um, really get in tune with your body. It's not about um, what it should look like. It's more about what it should and then how your body can respond to it, right? So yoga is very much like that where it never looks exactly the same and somebody is super, super flexible. Um, but the idea is there, so long we don't get injured, right? Lifting it up, exhale out, five more seconds, come on, and release, perfect. We're gonna lay over to one side, and uh, we're gonna go back to the straight arm, so bending the bottom, bottom leg, stop, top leg, bleh. top leg is straight. <laughs> Lifting your hip, arm is straight, ready, set, and go. Up we go, and down we go. Up we go, and down we go. Now look it up, look up. Are you right above your shoulder? Or are you looking up and you don't know somewhere over here? Okay, so making sure that we're staying aligned with that shoulder. So maybe you have created a little space at this point, and maybe you have a mirror in front of you as well. Super helpful. I know we love mirrors, and we have a love-hate relationship to these mirrors, but the truth is, when it comes to working out, 30 more seconds, they do come in very handy to not only think you're doing the right form and technique, but to truly look in the mirror and go, yeah, yeah, that's what I do look like, right? So sometimes we think we have a flat back, or we think we have uh, no twist to the hips, and then you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, I do have a twist in my hips. 10 more seconds. Come on, keep that hip up. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and release. Over to the other side. Make sure you're cushioning that elbow, right? So any joint should never be stressed out. Right, we always want to cushion them. Bottom leg bend, arms straight in front of you. Stay aligned with that shoulder, ready, and go. Lifting it up and down. Good, inhale, exhale out. Lifting it through, keep that lip, hip lifted. Good, and lift. Excellent job. Squeezing it up. 
Good. 20 seconds in. Keep powering through this. We so got this, right? Amazing what we can get done in 45 minutes, right? And it's work. It's all work, right? No slacking. And press. 20 more seconds. 30 minutes a day, right? That's what we need to boost that immune system. Eat healthy, right? What does that mean? Well, there's a lot of ways of doing that, and you can do it from home, right? Which is great. Four, three, two, and release. Whew. Coming back into a standing position. Implementing all colors of the garden, right? Your greens, your oranges, your um, yellows, right? There's lots of different ways. Shoulders down and back, bicep curls, reverse lunge, I mean forward lunge. Ready, set, and go. So your last one. Good. Or they really get you into the anaerobic end, which means that you're huffing and puffing, and like the high intensity interval from yesterday, right? Where you're like, whew, I can't catch my breath. Um, all the systems are being taxed differently. So some workouts, like today's, may not tax you like that in the cardio end, but we're working more on a strength end, right? So full body conditioning. Um, and some exercises, I'm sure you've experienced this, we kind of go, okay, that wasn't too difficult today, but the next couple days you're so sore, right? So you've isolated better. So sometimes when we slow down a little bit, focusing on the muscles, we actually, um, again, get just a different kind of workout. So it's really important that we mix it up a little bit, switching it up. Good, keep going, 10 more seconds, we got this. And again, four, three, two, and time, good. Let's grab some water. Now I can drink my weights. I go through my weights a lot. I keep having to replace them. Okay, hands go behind, let's open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. So what did we work today? We worked a little bit on that cardio, very mild. We worked on legs, which means your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, right? We also worked on balance. We got the core quite a bit involved. We worked your shoulders, your triceps, and your biceps today. Lots of stuff. We're gonna get that leg up. So again, full body conditioning, we want to get tap into all these muscles. Oh, and push-ups, we did chest, shoulders, and back, and core, right? So a lot of it, um, exercises will have multiple muscles that we're using. And breathe. Switching it over to the other side, right? And this is a kind of a nice class where you could add um, more stretching on the end, you could do my like, core stretching on the end a type class, or just portions of something else that you have uh, you have learned over the last three, four weeks. Good job. And release. We're gonna cross your legs, one over the other. We're gonna hinge forward. That back leg, you're gonna put all your weight in your heel, and then leaning forward into it. Nice stretch, holding it right here, let your head go, let your shoulders go. And coming all the way back up. We're gonna cross the other side over. Leaning down into it, curling the toes up, right? So again, it's the back foot, the back leg that we're after. And because we're crossing it over, we're trying to get a little bit more into the piriformis, um, into the hip there, those muscles. And releasing it. We're gonna roll our shoulders out, nice big circles. Give yourself a nice deep breath, reaching your tall. And exhale out. Wrap those hands around you. Give you a big pat on your back. You did awesome. And I will see you tomorrow for the corn stretch. And Sunday, I got the boot camp cardio kickboxing. High intensity, but again, welcoming all levels because you can modify it to what works for you. All right? So thank you for joining me today. I'm Sonia Badesi from Success Fitness, and I will see you over the weekend. Have a great day.